Hi Resonators, welcome to Tammyosity, I'm Tammy. I took a class learning how to cut glass and ceramic and the class is taught by Agnes Friedlander, shout out to Aggie. Um, if you'd like to take the class too, just look her up on YouTube. And she's also on Pinterest. I think she's on all social media. Anyway, um, so I'm doing a three part series where I'm just starting out small, cutting glass and ceramic to incorporate into my resin pieces and this first sign, this first one is a coffee sign for my coffee bar. Let's watch the video and see how it turned out. I use the same color palette that I used in the last video, which is the White Flow Art Copper Mica Powder, Bare Minerals Powder Foundation, that is actual cosmetics, Aphrodite Obsession by Black Diamond. And this Tender Pink Mica Powder. I also used spray paint um, to separate the layers, which I'll show you in just a minute. And together, all of these colors make this really beautiful uh, stone look in my resin, like a pink stone. Just like that. Looks like pink stone. Beautiful. Love it. Love the sparkles in it. Kind of obsessed with it. If you didn't watch my last video, I'm calling this color palette cosmetics because to me that's what it looks like. It looks like makeup. I've used makeup foundation for the color there. The purpley color right there, that when it's dry, looks like a dusty rose lipstick that I once had. And the light pink looks like the nail polish that I'm wearing in this video. And then you've got white and copper. And then I've also layered in some spray paint. This is Sand by Rust-Oleum. And then a Krylon color called Posh Pink. It's pink with sparkles. Now this is a tip that I learned from Edna Wargon. Shout out to Edna. If you use clay, you can level your project so much easier. This technique I've learned from Stone Coat Countertops and RK3 Designs, and uh, this is called an exotic pour, which is what you do to create an exotic stone look. And you layer in your resin that you already have mixed up with layers of spray paint in between. So I showed you at the bottom of the cup, I still have a little bit of clear resin in there, so I'm just coloring that clear with some spray paint. And then I start to layer in my colors and in between layers I add spray paint and there's no rhyme and reason you're just totally random with it all you have to do is layer your colors your spray paint you're good to go Now that you got the gist of this, I'm going to speed this up. And if you want to fast forward to the next section, that won't hurt my feelings at all.
Now that I have that already, I just want to rub some of the resin on the canvas so that the resin flows better. Canvas is level, prepped with a little bit of resin, we are ready to pour. Not only will the white flow art add cells to this pour, but the spray paint also. Spraying the spray paint between the colors, they fight against each other and that creates the cells too. Can you see the cells happening already? It's so pretty. I love to watch that. I love to watch it just take place and take shape and move. It's so pretty, it's so fun. I'm pouring some extra resin on the corners of the canvas just to make sure that the corners have a nice good coat on them. I have this mold here, it looks like a rock and it has a cavity in it for a tea light so I'm going to add some of this color to that mold as well. These are the tools I use to cut the coffee cup. This is just a Dremel with a diamond bit wheel on it. I use this to create a seam down the middle of the coffee cup. And then I just did what Aggie taught me using this tool here to cut that seam and it broke the coffee cup in half. I know you can't see the whole coffee cup, but you'll see um, in just a couple minutes, it's just a half a coffee cup. I want to place the coffee beans so it looks like steam rising, you know, it looks real cute. It looks like something you would see at your coffee bar hanging by your coffee pot every morning to greet you in the morning with your coffee. I'm just taking a few minutes just to get the right placement, the right aesthetic look. I'll speed this up for you so it doesn't get too boring. Now you can see the coffee cup that was cut in half and you can see the finished canvas and how pretty that all those resins and how they play together work, all the different colors in the resin. And I've got placement, perfect placement on my coffee beans, ready to go. Now I want to make a sign to personalize this. So this will be at my coffee bar to greet me every morning and I'm making a sign with my Cricut Maker using a blush colored vinyl with a matte finish. It'll be covered with resin so it really doesn't matter if it's matte or glossy.
I'm applying this very gently so I don't disturb all the placement that I've taken so much time to do with my coffee beans and the cup and all of that. So I've got to be super gentle here. Good morning. Have a cup of coffee. If you've never worked with resin before, it moves. So once you pour it down, it moves and it will move my coffee beans if I'm not careful. So I'm drizzling this on so the coffee beans stay in place. That's why I'm just doing this very slowly. Like I said, I'm doing this slowly, so I'm going to speed this up for you so it doesn't get too boring. I tried to avoid the coffee beans moving, but they moved anyway, so I just have to keep at it, putting them back in place, and eventually it stops moving and they stay where they're supposed to be. Remember the tea light mold? When I demolded it, I wasn't real happy with it. It got it bubbled up. So I think what I want to do is take a wire brush and distress it since it's a rock. It'll work. So here's the final product. I've taken it outside to get some pretty shots in the sort of sunlight. It's a cloudy day, so there's not a whole lot of sunlight. You can't really see the sparkles in the canvas, but it turned out really cute. I'm very happy with it. And this is my first attempt at cutting ceramic and putting it in my resin project. Super cute. And the key and the penny, it's not for any reason, it's just to add interest. I like the font in the good morning. Super cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I can't wait to show you my next project, which will be part two of this series.